Hello, this is Scott from wellthatsinteresting.tech. Earlier on in the year, on my blog, you might have seen that I wrote about um, facial recognition and some of the things that are being considered to help combat that from a kind of um, user privacy point of view. One of the things I mentioned in there is that you can actually go out and buy um, clothing that helps you um, almost hide yourself from the facial recognition cameras, not by covering your face or anything like that, but actually just confusing the system by overloading them with all the kind of different images that could be faces. I said that there was actually a uh, particular type of pattern that you could put on clothing and that I was hoping that I might get one for my birthday. Well, in fact, I did and I'm wearing it right now. Here it is. This is the pattern of the t-shirt. Um, as you can see, it looks like uh, faces and the idea is that uh, when the camera is looking at you, it can't determine whether you know this is your face and that's that and that's your face. So it kind of just gets completely um, confused. Now I've had various um, challenges with trying to get this to work. <laughs> I've tried it using the iPhone to see whether it focuses on my face, whether it focuses on the T-shirt or anything else, and I've had some some degree of success. But what I'm really looking for now is companies out there that would like to. Um, try their systems, their facial recognition systems, see if they can distinguish between the two. I kind of think they will. I'm not entirely happy with how this one's turned out. Um, I'm sure there's other prints out there you can get that do a better job, but uh, if you're out there and you've got a facial recognition system that you think um, can beat this, or even if you've got a print out there that you think could beat those facial recognition systems, then I'd love to hear more. So have a look at my blog if you haven't seen it. Well, that's interesting.tech where I talk about technology in a way that people can understand it. Um, so I like to think that if, uh, if I write something and my mum likes and shares it on Facebook, then I've done it the right way. Um, but yeah, I look forward to your comments. Thank you.